so close to me. You're the safest place to be right now. Hmm. Okay, Daphne. As soon as you have your safety gear on, we can get started. Fred, for the last time, I'm not ready to date you. Practice or not. Sorry, I'm just nervous. Don't be. No creep is going to judge you on my watch. You got it? I swear. Thanks, Fred. No one makes me feel as safe as you do. Maybe we can go on a practice date. Someday. Really? Uh, I mean, yeah, that, that'd be great. Daphne, I need to check on the perimeter sensors. I'll be right back. Now you shall be judged! Don't judge me because I'm beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> judge you now. No, but I can. Not so fast. First, I'd like you to meet a couple of friends. That's Auckland. Yeah. That's Brinkle. Looks like Hebediah Grimm won't be judging anybody now that we know he's really... Gary and Ethan. Oh, how did you know? Yeah, we were like totally sneaky. Not so totally, I'm afraid. The odd indentations in Hebediagram's footprints turned out to be soccer cleat marks. Gary's chat video was pre-recorded. I hacked your laptop and found the original recordings. Two missing costumes meant there could be two Hebediagrams. Like worst of all, you guys try to frame Dougal McGinnis by putting a yearbook on his porch. Ethan's yearbook! So judge that, you losers. Booyah! Who wants to judge me now, huh? Who? You want to judge me? You? In your face. Yeah! Wilma, you're scaring me. The real question is why? Why did you guys do it? Girls! Duh! We wanted to terrify girls and then rescue them so they'd fall for us. Just like the knights did in the Old West before the dragons went away. Yeah, knights terrorize and save damsels to score dates with them all the time. Huh. Never thought about it that way. But why did you both dress up? 